Hey there, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, Happy New Year. This is my first video of 2016. Um, I have to say it's a little bit annoying because I've I've just spent the last, I don't know, hour uh, on a little drive. I just came out here to the local farm shop, but I took the long way around and uh, I did a little chatty video, but it doesn't look like the H1 um, had recorded properly. Um, and the the GoPro Hero there doesn't actually have a, a microphone on it uh, that's usable. So what happened was I hit stop on the Zoom H1 and uh, it just kept going around in a little circle and now the H1 doesn't have much, much battery left. So hopefully this is going to work. Um, if not, we'll uh, I'll have to make another one another day. But uh, anyway, let's get on with it. So as you can see, I'm out in the van. Uh, I thought it was about time I got out. Let's turn some heat down a bit. It's actually a little bit hot. Let's just wait for this road to clear and then we can get on our way. There we go. So I hope you all had uh, a good festive season. And uh, I, d I don't know what people call it these days. I mean, Christmas seems to be a word everybody wants to phase out and call it like holidays and festive season and stuff. What's that humming noise? I think that's the road surface. Look for a second now. I got uh, I got bearings going, but no, we're okay. I'm going to take the country route, I think, which means going over this little bridge. So yeah, I'm on the other side of town at the moment, and uh, I come over here sometimes. I, I think of it as a little bit of a treat. I've just got myself some nice farm eggs and a nice pot of jam. I've just discovered uh, pancakes in the morning as breakfast. Um, <laughs> I know they're not ideal for your for your waistline, but um, porridge. I was starting to get a bit fed up with porridge. I had pancakes this morning. I used my last egg. That's why I was sort of inspired to come out and um, find some eggs. Right. A friendly cyclist. Glad I've captured them on film and that people wouldn't believe me otherwise. <laughs> Mind you, I used to be a cyclist. Um, I could proper... So well, before I had a car, I, uh, I used to be a member of the local road club and the touring club. And I used to cycle to all sorts of places. I remember cycling to Western Supermare and back in a day once. That was an amazing little trip, quite epic. There's a whole bunch of us and we ended up kind of virtually racing each other back. Um, it was a really strange experience. I was basically running on sugar lumps, believe it or not. Uh, this was before the days when I could afford like things like dextrose sweets. And literally every sort of half an hour I would take a sugar lump. and. Uh, I, I was amazed the levels of energy I still had on my way home. In fact, on my way home, you know, or we'd already done, I don't know, well over 100 miles. And on the way home, we were like racing each other. It was just quite bizarre. Uh, I think you just kind of get into a zone after a while. And uh, it was it was pretty awesome. I uh, did Bournemouth another, uh, another time, cycled to Bournemouth, stayed in a youth hostel and then uh, came back the next day. And on the way back, my wheel, back wheel collapsed, which was interesting. I had to rebuild a back wheel at the roadside. Got home, though. So that worked. I had, the thing is, I had to. I had no backup. So I didn't know anybody with a car that could come and get me. I mean, I was only like 17, 16, 17. In fact, I might have been 15. 15 or 16. Because as soon as I got a car at 17, I, I stopped cycling. And uh, it was a shame, really. I had some really cool bikes as well. Well, a two two bikes. One one was a Peugeot Centenary, which was a a racing bike that had been made in celebration of Peugeot's hundredth birthday, and uh, it had like aero uh, aero shape framework. It was probably like a collector's piece, and I sold it to my local cycle shop for just enough money to get a car stereo. How tragic is that? It had pearlescent paint and everything. It was like a really really um, really decent bike. So, never mind. I was young, didn't know any better. 
it's getting quite chilly now this uh, weather we've been having lately it's just been awful literally for the last couple of months we've just all we've known is like this gray overcast uh, gloom and in a way I, I kind of I, I love the winter and I hate the winter I, I love the winter when you're at home in the warm looking out at the rotten weather outside but you're all cozy and it kind of I lo love being in that cozy situation um, you know and for me I find that's the best time of year when I want to write and when I tend to write I, I usually write about kind of wintry things um, but to be out in the winter that's just not it's not something I enjoy you know everything looks bleak if you look at all the trees they're just kind of all like these skeletons they're not really um, uh, you know not very don't look very graceful when they're all bare uh, but of course I love the spring when you get to the spring it's just uh, everything comes out in those beautiful greens and yellows that you just absolutely it just kind of makes the world look like it's all brand new and all refreshed and ready for a, a new adventure you know and so for me I guess it's spring is the f is the best time of year but the, the weather has been so mild here it's been uncharacteristically mild and probably why it's been so wet as well uh, in fact I think it's been the wettest uh, winter on wettest and mildest winter on record since records began so that kind of gives you an indication of of uh, what we're dealing with here and some of the poor people up um, up, up north uh, around the Lake District and sort of around there they've just uh, they've been so flooded out uh, and what's what's been happening is they they got flooded out and uh, I think a lot of houses that had never been flooded before all, all got flooded where all these rivers burst their banks um, and then uh, they did a massive cleanup and then a couple of weeks later it all happened again I mean I couldn't even imagine how disheartened that you know they must have felt or how disheartened look at this guy that completely cut me up um, now I couldn't even imagine how disheartening those poor people must have felt uh, absolutely awful thing to happen especially I mean if you if your house gets flooded if you've got plasterboard on the walls the the, the water just wicks up the plasterboard and uh, you literally have to strip right back to the brickwork and start again. What is this guy doing? I thought for a second there he wasn't going to pull onto the carriageway. Right, and he's left his indicator on. Do you reckon he's on the phone? Look, look, he's swerving on the side of the... Well, he's not swerving, but he's, like, falling off the carriageway there. The thing is, you've got to have your wits about you when you've got people like this. I've got a lot of cars behind me, so I can't overtake. I'm just going to pull back a bit, I think. Surely he must realise his indicator's on. Never mind. So it's very difficult to um, when your brain goes on to alert when you when you're driving. I mean, some situations you, you you're fine, you're relaxed, you just kind of go with the flow, and then you can have a, a chat, you know, to the camera. Obviously, can't keep looking at the camera, but I can talk away. I got a little microphone on, and that's fine. But when you go into alert mode, it's very difficult to talk and drive safely at the same time that's why I have to shut up he's, now he's braking on the dual carriageway what's that all about hmm. oh, I'm glad he's gone now that's uh, he's obviously lost and looking at a map probably now he's on the phone typical so where were we before we were so rudely interrupted um, yeah uh so rick rickworld at the moment um 
for the last two years I've been kind of waiting for that little bolt of lightning inspiration that I normally get you know if I want to sort of how can I put it sometimes I'll just kind of get an idea pop into my head and I'll run with it and then I you know make a bunch of videos about it and it kind of gets I, I kind of do these things enthusiastically and and you know kind of really enjoy them but that hasn't happened for the last couple of years and I, I've kind of been waiting for that little nudge from within that little um, moment of inspiration where I think ah yeah I can I'm gonna do that as a, as a new hobby for a while um, just hasn't happened and I, I've been waiting for like let's say for two years for something like that to, to you know tap me on the shoulder and say here I am but it hasn't happened so I think 2016 I'm going to have to go and look for inspiration like I say normally inspiration comes to me but I accept that life is a kind of a dynamic thing you know it's always in a constant state of flux it's always changing so perhaps life isn't going to start or keep continue throwing inspiration at me anymore perhaps I now have to go out and look for the inspiration myself so that's what I think I'm gonna to have to do in 2016 I'm gonna to have to sort of force myself to uh, get out um, so I was having some issues with agoraphobia um, mild issues I kind of you know um, they weren't completely taking over my life but I was kind of get good days and bad days um, but I need to kind of force the issue with that and I think I need to just get start get forcing myself to go outside and uh, do stuff like, like I've done today basically um, you know I could have easily just gone to the local supermarket to get eggs but I thought no I'm gonna go to my local farm shop which is on the other side of town it's kind of an hour trip um, oh dear there's a, a rolled BMW in that field that looks nasty um, so and that's what I've done today and hopefully that's good for you as well because when I go out in the van and I'm on my own I can bring you guys along as well if you want and uh, you can tag along it might not be very interesting like today probably hasn't been that interesting but it's just nice to get out a bit of fresh air have a natter uh, or in my case vent <laughs> um, so that's, that's the one thing when you live on your own uh, especially if you just sort of don't go and visit people a lot you you need someone to bounce ideas off you know sort of to, to chat with you need to kind of I, I call it venting although venting is generally um, associated with like sort of angry things but I just like to to get things off my chest and put the world to rights and things and it's difficult when it's just you <laughs> but I'll tell you I'll tell you one thing though I, I don't know anybody else watching this who lives on their own do you find you mutter to yourself a lot <laughs> I find myself wandering around the house just kind of muttering to myself and uh, I'm sure I'm sure I'm not going mad. I, th I think as long as you can ask the question, am I going mad? I think you generally are, you're okay. But um, I do find it helps. You know, I suddenly get ideas, and I sort of bouncing and bouncing them around in my head. And if I kind of end up vocalising them, um, it it kind of helps to sort of digest the ideas. The, the only problem is I've got a security camera in the house, and uh, <laughs> it records to a cloud so uh, I mean, it's a great idea but of course it's recording all the time I'm moving around in front of it it's recording and uh, it's going on a on a, somebody's hard drive somewhere and uh, <laughs> I just hope they don't see it but uh, there we go right I've got a guy about to undertake me on the inside so I can't pull over uh, never mind I've got some lights here so I can lose him at the lights So there we go, that's Rickweld at the moment. Not a huge amount happening again. I'm still sort of, I still sort of think of myself as on this video making sabbatical, but I still try to make the occasional video just to say hello. I'm still here, still alive, still kicking. Um, but I'm hoping 2016, like I say, is going to be a little bit more, a little bit more going on. And hopefully I might be able to uh, make a few more videos. That'd be nice. So that's it from me guys, I uh, just want to say massive thanks for uh, watching if you've got this far, I don't know how long this video is but um, if you've got this far and you haven't got really really bored uh, then I 
uh, thank you for hanging in there and uh, like I say I hope you have a, a great 2016 I hope to be back a little bit sooner than sort of two months which I think I left it last time and uh, hopefully you know new year new beginnings and all that hopefully uh, we can get a few more videos made so until then thanks for watching have a great rest of the day and I'll see you next time take care and now all these people in the bus next to me think I'm completely mad because I'm talking to myself <laughs> how embarrassing you're still there ah okay hello again um, right this is just a little PS um, I've been meaning to ask you guys and I forgot if you've got any ideas on what you'd like to see on my channel um, please feel free to let me know in the comments below because basically all the things I've ever been interested in I've generally made videos on and I've sort of been there done that and I have to admit I'm kind of struggling to come up with new ideas to make videos on so if you've got any ideas please please let me know just just drop a note in the uh, the, the notes below and I'll, I'll have a read through them and uh, I'll just kind of see if anything jumps out at me and uh, maybe you know a little nudge from you guys might help with the the whole inspiration thing that would be good so I appreciate that anyway that's it thanks for watching guys have a great rest of the day I'll see you soon take care